find is, I mean, I've been watching bands for five years, something in Saskatchewan, and a lot of the bands that are coming out or tend to come out in the younger scenes, the all ages scenes or whatever, or even you know older, tend to be really derivative of what's the big sound in the state. Like uh, in the states, like three years ago, it was, I mean, you could hear nothing but grunge bands or kids trying to do grunge music, and I think you know it's, we're just so uh, we're so. Um, bombarded with American TV and stuff that it's uh, a lot of kids really uh, get into that and uh, it ends up sort of uh, diluting the whole thing really. to feel as a culture that things are only validated in Vancouver or Toronto and I think that uh, that holds true in the music business too so a lot of people have uh, really felt that that's the only way they can get out uh, because nothing is going to happen as long as they stay here I don't think that's necessarily true uh, I think it can happen here it's just a matter of uh, the artist being in the right mindset to allow it to happen and, and the audience also uh, being in the right mindset to allow it to happen Have you guys, like, how's it been getting gigs and uh, finding places to play and stuff like that? Um, it's been pretty good so far. Like, this is basically our, like, we've done a couple small things, but this is basically our very first show that we did. But um, it hasn't been too bad so far. We've just started looking, and it, there seems to be a pretty good opportunity in Saskatoon to be able to play. Do you think an event like this is really helpful for getting exposure and you know, getting more gigs and more stuff happening for you? Definitely, yeah. Yeah, as I said, this was our first chance of playing a real show or whatever. So it's been really good. And how did the set feel for you? Um, I was pretty nervous at first, but after a couple songs, I got more into it. But I'm, I was still pretty nervous throughout the whole thing, but hopefully it'll get better. been together not even a year yet you've already got a tape released and stuff like that um, tell me more about that um well we did the first the first couple songs with the, the guys from Tacoa they were learning how to use their equipment and we went in and did some stuff with them and then uh, the last song we did super we did with uh, Don Schmidt from the Northern Pikes at his studio and it, that was a really neat experience to get some real studio experience so it was a lot of fun it's, uh, it's really hard to uh, get a lot of recording done because it's kind of expensive and here in Saskatoon you're kind of limited to the uh, amount of you know income you get from gigs and stuff like that so it's kind of we're kind of you know scrounging to put material together all the time but you do the best you can sort of thing try and get a product out My baby says to you 
How does a new band go about getting started here? Well, once you have a band together and you're ready to play, you, uh, you try to find out, uh, try to meet other people in other bands and seeing how they're getting gigs, if they are getting gigs, and ask them, go around, schmooze. It's best to, best to schmooze when you're in a band. You know as many people in the music biz, as they call it, and uh, go, go to the bars, give them press kits, give them a tape, make a tape. Uh, make a bio up, send him a bio. The thing is that a lot of the bands, like we're friends with Slab Drive and Feeder Chain, and we just met Sound Junkies and they really liked our music, and that's good. Like everyone's, like even if they're not into the same style of music, they respect each other, and that's the that's the thing that will make hopefully Soma and Saskatchewan build in music. <laughs> I think the, the trick, if there is a trick, is for us to work together and not to, uh, I think the scene has to be there in order for musicians to have a, a viable network of people they can work within and, and club owners that are willing to give them a shot if they're not playing anything that they recognize. that have been getting together and putting their own all ages shows on. Is there a lot of that happening in Regina too? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's quite yeah. a bit. I've, I've been to a, a couple of those shows and uh, it's insane. That's where, you know, that's the kind of shows that uh, you want to play if if you want to see a, a real wild crowd, re you know, crowd response because the kids, the kids will all be up against the stage and there will be 200 of them and they're slamming and tossing each other over the, you know, like jumping off the stage and passing each other, you know, and if you go and you know, if you go and see a, a, a show in a bar, you never see that happening, you know. It's the, the kids.
I think it's great for all the bands. I think it's great for the more amateur bands that maybe have never played anywhere before. This is a venue where they can come and play without feeling like they're going to be blown away by, by big acts. Uh, it's great for the more, more professional bands. They can come and uh, get a little more exposure for themselves. And it's great for people like us who just want to have a little bit of fun and something to look forward to in, in life. original music scene of Saskatoon and Regina and all of Saskatchewan and the same with Sharia too has done the same thing for a whole province wide and for country music and for alternative and for rock and just everything and without them like there's just a it's a lot harder to network and meet people and just get things organized and have money and stuff like that come towards you and just everything so yeah, it's really cause, important because when we when we started like they ne we never like knew what we were doing at all and now these organizations like they, they can help you set it up you know they can like point you in the right direction and 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 it's like totally viable I mean uh, any band that doesn't take advantage of it is like basically digging their own grave and not really you know looking at how they could further their career if they want to make a career or whatever you want to call it in the city life, everybody, we take something. stuff like that where they've got bands coming out and, and just showcasing the better. Anything like that. Like, uh, yeah, like this, um, like the bands don't have to be paid all the time, just the opportunity to get out and play in front of a large crowd of people. That's how they get their most exposure. If you play in a little bar, you might make some money, but who's going to be there really enjoying you? I think people that are more interested in uh, the dollar rye and that kind of thing. Why? Why must I sit here? The other half's clear. 